Hey, how's it going guys? From a new video where today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple TV in Unreal uh, Engine 4. So, uh, the thing is that I'm going to be getting one mesh I've got right in here for the TV, the television right in there. So, uh, let's get started. First of all, we're going to be uh, looking for the television. So, we're going to be getting uh, out of front right here. It's uh, in environment. Right. Props, station. There it is, all those right here. And there we go. If I find TV, there it is, my television prop. So, uh, there we go. We got the TV right in here. I'm gonna be uh, putting it in the floor, whatever it's gonna be located at. I don't really care. It's position. So, I'm gonna let the TV on right there. Okay. And now, what we need to do, uh, I'm gonna be waiting until the uh, textures get loaded. And we're going to be, uh, you know, like, let's take a look at this prop to be a. Is it loading or something? Yeah, it's kind of like loading, so I just gotta wait. So, what we are going to be doing is just looking for the movie we're going to be using for putting it. So, um, I'm going to get looking for a movie and come back in a sec. So, now there we go, I got already right here the movie I was gonna be looking for, that was actually one uh, thing I was making in Minecraft, actually to the first game I have in mind, I pretty like one, Minecraft, that's pretty simple, yes, got recorded this with the game recording uh, engine that's kinda like Bandicam I've been using, you can use uh, whatever you want, whenever you got uh, the file, I just pretty much use this program right here, uh, that's called Free Studio, uh, you can uh, like look for this, on the internet right here and uh, when you're in right here in the page uh, you just kinda like click download and you get the frames so you can do this pretty much with every uh, movie file you've got and you can customize this right here in, in convert into a JPG converter that it's completely free actually so uh, here I did this with a little video I made, you can make this with whatever you want and customize how many images will this made depending on how many seconds will pass and all the stuff. So now that we got the Unreal Engine right here and we got our TV, I'm going to be making a new folder that's in content. Uh, let's go to, mm, where was this, meshes particles, animations. Uh, to the animations this is going to be where I've got this I'm going to be making a one that's textures and instead of textures I'm going to be getting in right here in port and I'm going to be uh, just when you finish uh, converting the video you can click right here to open up uh, the folder where all this is stored you open this folder right up and uh, and just kinda uh, control A and you choose all the videos or kinda like choose all of them one by one of with uh, selecting them you know you select them and you drag them into the Unreal Engine so it's gonna be uh, thinking for a sec it's gonna be loading the assets we're importing so it's gonna be importing inside those JPG uh, textures so now that we've got those images in right here, we're gonna be making a 2D asset, you know, a animation of 2D. So they're all called like the same, they got just one number variation, so it's gonna be creating one and the same one. So you see, we got all the images, it's kinda like a bit weird because I didn't really uh, customize this well. Actually, this every second made a screenshot, so things aren't too followed. Um, they look pretty weird, but anyway, it's uh, it's okay. You cannot like understand. It's a gameplay of Minecraft making a pretty new house made out of wood and you know dirt. So now we got all the assets right here. Let's make a folder where it's gonna be called um, sprites. In here, we're gonna be storing all the sprites. So um, now that we got this in right here, we're gonna make uh, a sprite action create a sprite. Okay, so we can create sprite for each one of those it's gonna be creating a sprite for each of them so there we go we got those sprites we're gonna be uh, kinda like dragging them instead of a folder that's right here so we're uh, move here 
instead of copy is going to be move so it goes faster and we don't have to uh, delete then the assets after that so it's going to be right here you see we got the assets uh, completely deleted uh, right here and we get instead of sprites we got the 50 same assets in right here but now they're a sprite actors okay so now that we got those sprites they made out of the same video so the center of the sprite is always going to be the same okay so uh, now that we got this in right here we're gonna be uh, kind of like getting in right here a new animation okay we're gonna be getting outside of this one we're gonna uh, click one and shift and click the last one. We got all of them selected. We're gonna uh, create the flipbook, okay? So there we go. They got all the same names, so they're only creating one flipbook. So this flipbook is gonna be a easy. We put these in the whole animations. So you can customize right here the frames per second. So you see, let's let this the default. Let's tell it uh, eight maybe. So things go a little bit slow down, maybe five. I don't know, I'm gonna let the default so you can pretty much customize right here whatever you guys want so I'm gonna let this one as a default timing well right here you see the default timing this is pretty good for the gameplay and just displaying right here it's pretty easy you just kinda like go right here and amplify the time for each one or customize whatever you want so um, I'm just kinda like add, you can kinda like be adding one frame for each one of those or customize this in right here we can see the frame runs in right here kinda like to, uh, 2 frames per one of those or frames per second you can customize each one so uh, let's just be closing this we already have got our flipbook it's a pretty simple one the one I made so let's drag this to your world and you see it's a flipbook moving so I'm going to be uh, minimizing this one a bit making it smaller and you can make this to fit instead of any screen just taking count image will sometimes get altered depending on the sizes of the screen you're going to make this fit in so you see there we go we got our movie right here it's actually a gameplay from minecraft uh, pretty speed it up just take the image and adjust this to the screen as much as you need it to so but there we go we got a little problem because this one hasn't got sound so after you do all this you can pretty much uh, get the original video and get the area for the original one or pretty much uh, record the area up to this one so you can add the music or whatever you want okay I'm gonna be getting a pretty simple music right now um, a sound right here and I'm gonna make also I'm making this TV able to be turning on and off okay so wait a sec I have the image a bit weird right now I need this uh, right there there we go that's better you see so um, I'm gonna be kind of like uh, taking those assets right here and let's go down and there is no option for making a blueprint okay I gotta make it now so let's go right here into blueprints my blueprints I'm gonna be making new one that's going to be this new blueprint is going to be actor blueprint that's called TV okay TV underscore one we open up TV and we're going to be adding the mesh of the TV, okay? And the uh, flipbook. So I'm going to be finding content browser and me dragging this one instead of right here. And we're going to look for this flipbook. I'm going to find it in right here. And I'm going to drag this in right there. So you see, we got a flipbook. It's going pretty fast actually, okay? So after this one, we're going to be adding uh, a way to turning on and off the TV, okay? So for freely move this one so it goes better fitting on the screen and free the change of the sizes so I'm gonna be making this to fit in this uh, screen so this actually fits pretty okay right now for me it looks it's okay for me it looks it's okay for now I'm gonna be this fitting right there, okay. This fits right, okay. So 
so there we go we got our flipbook right here that's actually fitting in this image right there so it's going pretty okay actually it's gonna be uh, our flipbook and gonna be able to be turning off and on the TV so let's delete all this right here and I'm gonna be adding a box right here or a sphere so let's get for a box right there this box collision we're gonna be making bigger okay can I use see make this box right there let me go into the collision let's go to custom and if you uh, choose a first person setting you have right here the collisions the projectile option we're going to deactivate it so when you shoot through right here the ballet won't collide with the TV okay with the box of the TV so it will collide with the TV so now can, you can customize this as much as you want whenever the ball hits the TV it can get broken you can break the TV or whatever you want but the simple thing I'm gonna be making is just um, begin overlap I'm going making enable input okay so cast to my character we're going to enable input okay so this enable input uh, let's get the player controller It's going to be only working in this blueprint, okay? Far as I've been using Unreal uh, 3D uh, versions, this is going to be used only working in this blueprint. So if you have two TVs or various blueprints using the same option, will be only working on this TV right here, okay? You can right here. So let's take another one. That's end overlap. Now we got an overlap. We're gonna uh, cast to uh, my character. Or your play your character so then uh, disable input nope sorry there we go now we take again the play your controller and we drag this in right here and connect it we're gonna compile right here and uh, this whenever we get inside right here will enable and disable the input for this blueprint in right here so we can uh, now press F that will turn on and off the TV okay you can make an option for having different channels on the TV and be changing them but I'm going only with one channel so it's going to be this video right here we pressed and it's going on as uh, to do this that's gonna be uh, toggle visibility from the flipbook right here you see there we go we're compiling and there we go it's gonna be uh, uh, totally in the visibility so I'm gonna be uh, deleting this TV right here because we got already the blueprint made so let's drag my blueprint in right here TV1 let's drag this in right there so there we go we got the TV with the plane right here and uh, it has no collision actually we press F and this turns off F on and if we're inside right here we can't do it but if we're inside it works you see okay so now there we go it's working okay pretty much it's working the TV we can turn on and off it's on it's off yes can I, you see you can see that this is a overlay right here that's another image that's over the TV mesh it doesn't really matter matter because no map pitch not much people will just notice this it's a pretty simple TV one so now that we got the TV working I can pretty much say this is a better uh, position for testing this out now we got the TV working we're gonna be making another thing uh, now that this TV is working what we want is to add the an audio okay so this audio is gonna be uh, playing uh, over and over until uh, we kinda like get the TV off okay so uh, this is going we're needing the player blueprint okay we need the blueprint and we're gonna be getting the player blueprint okay my character right here and what you're going to be making right here is a cube that's called sounds not playing location okay this cube just drag this pretty app uh, far away from the player and you toggle its visibility to off and no collision okay so this box is up here and no one will notice about the box so the audio radius uh, as you can see uh, just pretty much uh, doesn't get into the player so every area that's not playing will never uh, play 
near the player so we don't really hear them um, gives a sensation of that's really uh, not playing but it's really doing so so uh, which area is going to be this one is going on today um, any area we want so actually get ready to find one that I can use so I come back in a sec so I found the area I wanted to be using, so I'm gonna make kinda like dragging this instead of Unreal uh, Engine. So let's go right here to Content Audio, and let's get to my audio. I'm gonna be uh, taking right here the folder that's gonna be uh, Musics, and we get the first music. Okay, so I'm gonna be dragging this music in right here. I'm gonna tell you right now how I made this area. I'm gonna tell you um, I pretty much made this one. Uh, 8-bit music with a program right here. I'm gonna be uh, displaying right now in a second. That's called uh, where is this? Family Tracker. Okay, I made this one song with it. So uh, as you can see, uh, I'm gonna play it right now. So let's uh, play this song. <laughs> So I can tell you uh, that this isn't, the, this isn't the best song in the world, but actually I made this one uh, for the TV. So uh, pretty much this 8-bit music I made right here with this program. Oh my gosh, you gotta understand this one's a pain in the ass to uh, pretty much understand how did this work. I um, made the music, but now that we got the music I made. Um, I can tell you just was pressing letters like a crazy man and suddenly got this track right here I pretty much liked so we're gonna be creating a, a Q a video okay and we are gonna be uh, creating a new song attenuation right in here so here I get the attenuation that's pretty much going to right click sound and create an attenuation I'll let the default or you can customize it and you just want I actually got the uh, default options and right here for the music we press uh, that's going to be repeating it's gonna be looping okay so now we go to the blueprint and we're gonna be uh, applying this in right here this song okay now we got the sound thing right here that's gonna be playing over and over again so uh, that's the thing we got in the TV but the thing is that the TV is charged uh, turn it on okay we want the TV to be up so what I'm going to be making is this visibility change, okay? Change the visibility. So now, whenever we start playing, this is gonna be turn it up, and when we get near, it's gonna be starting to uh, work. When we press F, we turn this on. We got another problem that's going to be the sound. So as I said before, I was gonna be creating in my character right here, so not playing location. So I'm gonna be getting right here. Uh, from begin play, okay, begin play. We're going cast to my character, okay. So there we go, cast to my character. We're gonna get play your character. I know that we got the player character. We're gonna be getting out of right here another pin that's gonna be uh, kind of like this link. What was this? Ah, uh, uh, sound not playing location. So we're gonna be uh, after. Where's this? Um, I don't really see it. Let me check out if this is able to be a variable. Public one. So this cube for some reason I can't really cast to this cube, okay? We're gonna be getting sound not playing location. I wanna cast it. So I better get it fast. So how do I cast to this one? I actually should be able to see this right here. Get sound not playing location. There it is. I just said location and it's lock and I have to type in get so now that we got it right here I say location but lock of location okay so uh, now we've got this right here I'm gonna be uh, getting a writer the audio okay we're gonna be uh, attaching this sound 
we're going to attach to and we're going to be getting the sound that's uh, where is this well we're going to make it flipbook I'm going to be deleting it and adding the sound right here so now attach to we're going to meta right here the sound which is going to be the one that's attaching and in parent we're going to be adding this one right here that's a uh, sound of clean location we're going to snap to target keep world scale okay so now after this Whenever we press F, we're going to uh, make another thing. We're going to uh, take in this. Whenever we press F, we're going to be making a uh, flip flop, which is going to allow us to have A and B, which works like a branch, you know, kind of like a branch is. Okay, so uh, we're going to be getting this one right here. We're going to uh, copy this one, copy, uh, paste right here, which is going to be after all these take this one linking into A sorry into B we're gonna be getting this to get away okay and into uh, A we're gonna be getting this one to attach near this one so let's paste this again and let's uh, choose the sign uh, delete the custom plagiar and we're gonna be choosing just kinda like the prop to be we're going to attach as the parent and connect this into A so let's compile and so now we should go to the TV you hear no music you see no image, we press F and you see there there we go, so now there's music and Minecraft playing play we can turn this off and on now there's a bit of the thing is a bit of we need a animation for turning on kinda like a song we gotta make to play kinda like click or something going on so I got the perfect example for a old TV okay you see this is pretty old TV I got full out uh, TV sounds on playing I downloaded it I uh, yes pretty much don't remember if I deleted it or not so I'm gonna be importing this one and getting back to it so there we go we got uh, those two sounds right here that are, uh, those are a flashlight sounding from Left 4 Dead 2 which is lo sounding like a click button which is pretty cool for making the button click and turn into radio I call this because I pretty much wanted to make a radio system I made in another level but I'm gonna be using for the TV turning on so as you see as you can see it's a old TV so I'm gonna be getting this let's attach those uh, kind of right in here let's just drag them and I'm going on making this let's go to the TV blueprints and when this turns on we're gonna be play sound 2d okay we're gonna make two play sound 2d on turning on and turning off we're gonna be making just one okay so let's type in right here flashlight or the sound for click uh, you guys choose and right here i'm gonna be using the flashlight sound and for the first one uh if you can do this you want or not but i'm going to use two sounds as this is getting on okay so let's come right there You see, uh, just pretty much, it's a simple thing. The thing is that this sound keeps playing if we we do this pretty much a lot of time. Okay, if we do this a lot of time, it will be getting kind of glitchy. So you know, what we're gonna be uh, making is going to making another sound like that one, which is gonna be kind of like the touching if you want. So I think for the TV, it's pretty much okay for now. Okay, so um. This is just ready for now. I'm gonna be making another one that's turning to radio. I'm gonna be delete it and see how does it look like. Yeah, pretty much I like this like that. So it's a basic TV. Uh, you can modify this as much as you want. So uh, then uh, we can make this some different tapes that are going to be able to play. So for F, which uh, which turn on the TV and uh, we J we can choose some different channels or playing tapes that's an idea I've got right now I don't really know if I'm gonna be making this in the next tutorial so this is it done for this tutorial so thank you so much for watching this video guys hope you enjoy it and see you in the next time goodbye guys